Hey, Kevin, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Okay, who is this? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. You ever heard of it? Um, maybe. Uh, how did you get my number? Well, I got your number from a listener of ours, actually. They emailed us about you. What? Yeah, there's uh, somebody who listens to our show, has been trying to get a hold of you, but you aren't calling them back, so they asked if we could get you on the phone and find out why you're not calling them. Her name is Caroline. Oh. <laughs> and yeah. you guys recently went out on a date. Yeah. Did you, did you like Caroline? She emailed you about... Yeah, she liked you enough to actually email a radio show to get you on the phone and find out why you're not calling her back. Oh, that's... That's a little bit of a compliment, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I I really was hoping that she wouldn't call me back. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you don't want to get a hold of her. No, I, I do not. What was so bad about the date? I just... <laughs> like, I got myself into something I was not prepared for. <laughs> Really? I'm guessing... What do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we met on this dating website, and, you know, <laughs> like they say, it's too good to be true, and um, <laughs> that was one of the worst two hours of my life. <laughs> Wait, Why was it so bad? The whole thing? The, the whole thing. It just did not start out on the right foot. <laughs> she did tell us how she put you in a headlock at the end of the date and forced you to kiss her. <laughs> Oh, that was that was not fun, but uh, I was over it way before that. Oh, really? Really? She swore that you kissed her back for like a long time. To try to get her away. She was holding me. <laughs> You're like, all right, fine, I'll kiss Might you then. Well. <laughs> so at what point were you over the date with her then? I was over the date within the first 10 minutes, I think. What? How could you be over a date in the first 10 minutes? That means that you're not even giving somebody a chance. No, well, we were we were going over the menu, um, and man, the whole time she's talking about how it's her cheat night and how she's got to get her macros and the micros, and <laughs> <laughs> she just you know every single item on the menu she's talking about its nutritional um, you know value. Yeah, <laughs> and she goes into her bag and whips out this like little blue pill, and she hands it what? to me, and I go, "What is this?" And she said, it's a suppository probiotic. <laughs> Did you suppository? get a suppository Wait, probiotic? That, for mean? her or for you? For me. <laughs> she wanted you to take a suppository? I've known this girl for 11 minutes. And she hands me a pill and tells me to shove it up my <laughs> what, what did you say? I kept saying no. And she just kept insisting that I take it. She's like, here, try it. It's really good for you. And I'm like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> so after I finally made it clear that I wasn't going to take it, she says, well, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom to take mine. <laughs> oh, so she wow. leaves, goes to the bathroom. I'm sitting there wondering if she's being serious, then comes back saying, oh, it's so much better. I feel so much better now. Let's eat. Let's have a fun date. Describe that exchange what? to me again. That's not, It's one of the weirdest things I've ever heard. She hands me this pill, and she goes, do you know what this is? And I said, no, I don't know what it is. And she goes, oh, it's a probiotic. Specially designed to help uh, promote healthy colon ecology or something. <laughs> it's colon digestion, oh. if you are listening correctly. <laughs> what? Hey, Kevin, that's Caroline. She's actually on the other line. <laughs> Caroline, you were supposed to wait until I called you into the conversation. <laughs> Yeah, I could. I honestly, I couldn't even wait. I was, I was tapping my feet over here. Like, are you serious right now? Oh my God, really? I was nice enough, first of all, to share my stuff. I mean, that's expensive stuff, okay? And it's for your digestion. It's for your health. I was just trying to be nice and share my knowledge and share what I know. And yes, it was my cheat night. And honestly, I wasn't going to ruin my digestion for a date. Okay, somebody that I only knew for 11 minutes.
Look, Caroline, if you want to go take a suppository, go right ahead. Go in the bathroom. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to encourage me to join in. I know, but I was just trying to be nice. Okay, you were asking me so many questions about fitness, and you were letting me talk about it. No, no, no. no. You were really... talking about fitness incessantly, so I was being polite and asking you questions because it was obviously what you wanted to talk about. Well, no offense, but how do you think my body got to look like this? If I didn't do all of the things I was talking about, it's good for you. That's why I offered it in the first place. It's gross. That's why I said no. <laughs> Carla, would you really not see a problem with asking someone to take a suppository? Thank well, you. I offered it, okay? I offered it. I was nice enough to pull it out of my bag. I let him know what it was about, what it was for. And those suppositories, I make myself at home, okay, and I keep them in my bag whenever I know I'm going to have a cheat meal. You I make them nice yourself? <laughs> yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, I make them myself. What's wrong with that? She makes her own butt pills. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive, Caroline. Homemade suppository? Yes. I make them myself because I'm trying to make a fitness line that I want to push, and this is like my baby. This is my number one genius idea, okay? So I've been working on it really, really hard. So, Kevin, she was just trying to share her love of suppository supplements with you. That's all. Why can't she push it at the gym? Why does she have to push it over cocktails? (laughs) I just, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, look... You know, for my profile, that I'm into fitness. I'm very heavy into it. You know, no, I, 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 I'm not talking about the fitness. It's one thing to talk about fitness. It's another thing to try to get me to put a pill up my butt. <laughs> that is a good it's not point. Like I offered to put it in there for you. <laughs> hey. I don't understand what the problem is. Hey, Kevin, would you like to go out on a second date oh with Caroline? Gosh. No. What, are you sure? Oh You're positive. Final answer. I don't even want to go out with this guy anyway. Kevin, you are just not the person that I want at all in my life. So, no thank you. Caroline, maybe in the future, just take it easy on the suppositories for like the first 20 minutes. You know what? I'm not going to change who I am for anybody. So, uh, I'll just make sure I look for somebody that is as into fitness as I am. And that's it. Like, I will not change myself. All right. Well, bring those suppositories and I'm going to make a lot of money. (laughs) You, You go, girl. You do you. All right, well, I'll find you a date, Caroline. Text in right now, 78592, if you're not scared to put a pill in your butt on the first date. I will hook you up with Caroline.